Greetings and welcome to Ask Lovecraft. I am Carl Sagan, filling in for my good friend Howard, who unfortunately has become incapacitated. Luckily, I am in town for a Chautauqua that's taking place March 15th at 7 p.m. at the Grand Hotel in Mount Vernon, Ohio. If you can come out for that, I would appreciate seeing you. Today's question comes from Thomas, who wants to know my thoughts on the Fermi Paradox. Now, the Fermi Paradox is a name uh, that's given to a question that uh, astronomers often ask about the presence of extraterrestrial life. It simply goes like this. Given the, the vastness of the cosmos, both uh, in size and scale as, as well as time, uh, and the prevalence of the building blocks for organic life, why is it that we have not seen any evidence of life out there, intelligent life specifically. And there's a lot of answers people give. One is that we are alone. Whatever reason, the Earth is uniquely placed and there is simply no other spot in the cosmos where life can form. I find this to be a touch hubristic. Um, others suggest that life is out there, but it is simply too far away. There's no way for it to communicate with us. Or perhaps it is aware of us, but is giving us a wide berth for reasons all their own. Personally, I think it's still too soon to tell. Our communication technologies are still in their infancy. If you, if you think about it, if you think about all the resources we have, of the radio, satellite, every possible technology that we have crafted to help us discover more about the cosmos, much of it has only been around for less than a century. So, in essence, that would be like a man crash-landing on a desert island and lighting a fire, and when no help arrived the next day, concluding that there is no one else left in the world. Now, this, of course, brings up other questions about do we want to advertise our existence? Will extraterrestrial life be friendly or hostile? Obviously, popular science fiction culture has made it seem like most aliens out there wish to do us harm. If they find out about us, they will exploit our resources, take us over, enslave us. Personally, I think this is only so much projection of how we have treated other indigenous persons. Personally, I rather hope they're rather like Gordon Shumway from ALF. I like his irreverent manner. Although if I had written for the program, I would have given him an ovipositor and made him look like your father. But different strokes for different folks. I've been Carl Sagan. Be well.